Hey, tell me what you hear. I got this. Almost as if I got it all under control. That's what we usually say when we want to take matters into our own hands. But I want you to turn your Bible right now to the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 8 and 9. Again, the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 8 and 9. This is what the Lord says. He says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. He says, I would advise you and watch over you. He says, do not be like the senseless horse or mule that needs a, a bit and bridle to keep it under control. He says, stop trying to take matters into your own hands. You know, our attitudes usually, I got it from here. You know, I've used that phrase so many times and only to find that I don't have it under control. See, God's intentions here is to sort of really let us know how much he cares for us. He wants to use love and wisdom to guide us and lead us. And so his intentions are to really guide us. It's, it's really to sort of really advise us and to, you know, again, watch over us, protect us, you know, because he wants the best for us. See, he wants to direct our path in the right way. And so often we just want the world's way. We just want to give in to our own desires. And this is why we say, I got this. We want to control everything instead of, you know, doing it God's way. His way is the best way for you and I. I can tell you right now, whenever I start to say, oh, I got it from here, I had to put the brakes because a part of me wants to just do what I want. Instead of, you know, and we have a tendency to ignore the guidance and neglect the time that God is allowing us to, to give him in the moment. We get so busy and caught up in what we want that we lose sight of what God really wants to do in our lives. So what do we do? We, only leave, we give God only one option. That's it, that's what we do. We, 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 we are only leaving God with this one option to discipline and punish us because he wants to draw us back. He's not doing it to hurt us, see? He wants to, he wants to provide for us. See, he wants to advise us. Let him advise us. It's written in his word, in God's word. He wants us to lean towards him. That way we can see things through his eyes and not our own. Keep in mind, God loves you. Can you remember that? Remember, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.